Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. Today we're here to discuss an issue that came up during our Triple RTX 3060 Ti setup and testing video. Check it out in the description above. This issue specifically pertains to the Gigabyte Gaming OC Pro Edition, only the Pro Edition. Basically, we couldn't turn the power down below 145 watts. A user in the Misfit Mining Discord, DZR, pointed me to a Reddit post on this, and today I'm going to show you how to correct it. But first, let's spin that intro. Here we are over in our RTX 3060 Ti four card rig. Uh, GPU two and GPU four are our Gigabyte Gaming OC Pro Edition cards. They are both running 61.9 mega hash. One is at 149 watts, one is at 148 watts. And this is where we ran into our problem. Over here in Afterburner, if we select our card two, we are at 60% power, but if we look on our scanner, we're actually showing 65% power. Okay, so easy fix, right? Let's crank it down a little bit. If we crank it all the way down to 41%, we are still at 65%, 149 watts. No matter what we do, we cannot get that to go away. Same thing with our card four. We've got it at 61%, but it is actually showing 67%, 148 watts. There's no way for us to crank that down any farther because I think it's a BIOS locked uh, power play table. So to fix this, pretty simple actually, and this works only with Windows. We don't have a solution yet for the Hive OS. If you have a solution on how to fix this issue with this card in Hive OS, please drop a comment down below. Let us know how to fix it. Many people would love to know this. So if you have the fix, let us know. So to fix this in our Gigabyte Gaming Pro OC Edition, we would go into our Afterburner. We would hit Control F on the keyboard. This will show us our frequency volt curve. What we wanna do, according to the Reddit post, is find a point around 725 millivolts to voltage lock. They suggested 725, so basically to lock it, you just select the dot that you want to lock it at. This one's showing 725 millivolt. You would hit L on your keyboard. You see this nice pretty dotted line comes down the screen. That means we're going to lock the voltage right there. Now if we hit X and we want to apply that. So after we voltage locked it, you could see we crashed clear down to 40 mega hash. So obviously that one is no good. So let's go back into it. Hit Control F from your afterburner. Now, 725 didn't work for us. From my testing on both of my Gigabyte Gaming Pro OC Edition cards, neither of them would lock stable below 750. So I went clear up to the 750 mark and I clicked that, that 750 millivolt circle, L, to lock it. I would go back out and then I would apply that. Now, this is for card four. Let's see what that jumps to. So look at that, we're at 115 watts, showing 61.5 mega hash. That is a world of difference. We just dropped nearly 30 watts and we did not lose much on the mega hash. That is beautiful. The problem with this specific card, the card four is when I did this, it would not actually keep all my valid shares. I was getting kickbacks on some invalid shares. So after quite a bit of tweaking on this card specifically, what I ended up doing, control F to get back into this scanner. And I went up to 768 millivolts was specifically what this card four would lock into perfect. So I would click it, hit L, lock it, X out of there, hit the check mark to apply, and now we're running it. So when I did that, it actually made my mega hash go up. It pulled my wattage up slightly, and it also pulled my mega hash up slightly. But the issue I was still running into was getting a lot of invalid shares and kickbacks. For this card specifically, I had to actually drop the memory a little bit farther down. I went down to 1150, 
and then I kept my voltage lock at that 768. So it dropped down to 117 watts at 60.7 and this has been rock stable solid for the second card. For my main card, I had to... I could leave my memory clear up at 1300 and I, my voltage lock was actually at seven at 762. So what I did was I started at the 725 and I kept going clear up the 750 before I could get anything really stable. And then from 750, I went up, I went back until I found the sweet spot for both of them. I pulled the memory up and down a little bit and both of these are running very optimal settings right now. I'm running 61.9 mega hash on this card and I'm running 60.7 on the other. I'm running 124 watts, I'm running 118 watts. That is super efficient. One last tip is that when you're doing this, after you select your millivolts, you hit your control F, you found your circle you want, you lock it in, you hit your L, you hit X, you apply. You can save this into your profile just like you would save any other overclock. So then when I save this in, I saved it to number two. When I switch back to one, and check it, that won't be in there anymore. There's no voltage lock because my setting one didn't have it. If I jump back over to my profile two, and then I go check, my lock's in there. So it could save your lock. You can play around with it, do some locking. Key point, whenever you're doing things like this, make sure to uncheck the Windows button in Afterburner. That way, if you get a bad overclock or it's unstable, when you reboot your system, it will not hold that overclock and get you stuck into a boot loop. If you say accidentally cranked something all the way the wrong way and then hit apply and it crashed everything out, it would get you stuck in a boot loop. Well, there you have it. The RTX 3060 Ti Gigabyte Gaming OC Pro now running as efficient or better than the rest of the pack. If you're new to mining or you need some help, make sure to join the Hash Raptor Discord or the Mining Misfits Discord. There's plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help get you up in mining. If you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.